What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial we're doing another Zaha Hadid project. I love her projects because they're all wild and warped and it's really a challenge to model something like that in Revit. And in today's video it's the same case, we're going to be modeling the Riverside Museum in Revit, it's this cool warped building. And But before I get started, I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already, I suggest you subscribe because I make tutorials like this every day. And of course, you want to, if you want to download any of my project files, maybe this file, maybe some of the other ones, check out my Patreon, first link in the description. Okay, so let's get started. Here I am in Revit and I'm just going to be using the architectural template for uh, this project. Now, before we do anything, we need to have some reference on what we're modeling. So I'm just going to move Revit out of the way. And as you can see over here, I've got an image. So I'm just going to load that in and place it over here. And if I just maximize Revit on screen, oops, okay. And now as you can see, this is that Riverside Museum uh, floor plan. And I can just extend it a bit just to cover the whole thing. Of course, I'm not going to be uh, in a perfect scale. I'm just going to make it look the same way it does in real life. And then, of course, if you want to do it some similar project, of course, you would do it in a correct scale. Okay, so continuing on, once we have this, I also like to move this image to the site plan. It just might be useful. So you can just select the image and then go here to copy then go to paste, align with selected views, and then go with site plan. And now if we go into site plan, we're going to get that same image in the same place. And if we go into level two, no image. That's because we're, uh, we didn't copy it there. So I'm just trying to explain how this these images work and how you copy them from uh, level to level. Okay, so let's now continue on and start modeling. So we can go here to masking and site, make sure you turn on show mass, and then go in place mass. Let's just call it mass one. Okay, and let's get started. So I'm just going to start off with doing a reference plane and I'm going to place one over here, kind of like this. Extend it a bit. Okay, now just type in CO for copy and copy it down over here. Then go again, CO for copy and copy it all the way here. And one more, we need to go CO and copy it just over here. So you're just giving it a small offset from this one. So that's what you need to have on this side. Then moving on to the other side, you go again, reference plane. You go from, I don't know, from this point to this point. You extend it a bit. Yeah, kind of like that. Then you go select it, you go CO for copy and you copy it down here and then you go CO for copy again, and you again make just one more uh, that's really close, so just the same way you did it over here. Maybe we can bring it up a bit, and then again go CO, select it, and copy it all the way here. And maybe we can extend it like this. Yeah, so just go to that corner at the end. Okay, so we've got a bunch of these reference planes. I think we've got six, eight. Okay, so you start naming them. So this one should be number one, this one should be number two, this one should be number three, number four, number five, this is six, seven, and eight. Okay, so once we have all of these named properly, now we can start doing the rest of this thing. So. In order to model these shapes, I'm not going to be modeling in any elevations or sections. I'm actually going to be modeling everything in 3D. But in order to do that, you need to see something in 3D. If I go to 3D now, as you can see, we've got pretty much nothing. We can't see that image, we can't see the reference planes. So what I like to do is I like to go to level one, uh, go here with the model line, and then just create lines that are going like this. So just extend these lines kind of like that, this one here, this one, maybe like that. Okay, and for this one, let's just do one line over here. Okay, so once you've got these lines, now if you go into 3D, you get something that looks like this. And now we can orient ourselves in space. So if I go here to create, I go with the line, I go with draw on work plane and choose reference plane number one. As you can see, we've highlighted that reference plane and now I can just zoom in over here and start placing these lines. 
So I'm just going to do one line like this, maybe make it a bit smaller to keep the proportions right and then go CO for copy. Make sure you check multiple and then copy it to each of these uh, line beginnings. Okay, so now it's time to start modeling the roof shape. So it's got kind of a simple roof shape that's been made to look wild. So it's kind of something like this. And of course you can play around with whatever you find fun and interesting. So let's go with something like this. Of course, I'm not trying to make it exactly look like the Zaha Hadid building. I'm just trying to make something similar. Then you hover over one of these lines and you hit tab a few times till you can select it and then you delete it. You do the same thing here, delete, delete, and you want to be left with only this shape. Okay, so once you have this shape, let's now go to site plan and as you can see now we can copy it over here. So what I'm just going to do is I'm going to go here to copy, paste, align to the same place. So it's now overlapping and here we've got this overlapping warning, but it's still selected. So if I go here to host and change it from uh, reference plane one to reference plane two, as you can see now it jumped over here. Uh, now when I open up this dialog up, as you can see, we only got one through four. That's because one through four are parallel and then five through eight are parallel as well. So you can only do this thing to the, the ones that are to the reference lines that are parallel. And I'm just going to move this in the proper, proper place. And maybe as you can see over here, maybe we can change it a bit. So maybe extend this line a bit. So you just hit tab, select the line, maybe move it there a bit. Maybe extend this like that. And maybe we change this slope to the other side. I don't know make it look a bit more interesting and I'll go back into site plan. Yeah, it's getting there. Okay, so once you have this, you can now copy it again. So you just go copy, paste, align to the same place and then you change the reference plane to number three and then you can just use the arrow keys to kind of notch it in place. Then you go again, copy, paste, align to same place and you change this to reference plane four and then you bring it back into the same place. Now it might look like an overkill to have too many of these profiles, but actually you, 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 you always want to have as many as possible because the shape is going to get really wild if you use, uh, if you don't use enough of these profiles. Okay, moving on to this one over here. So I'm just going to use lines again and level one. So you just do one line like this, one like this, one like that, one here and one here as well. Okay, so once we have these lines, again, go into 3D, let's find them. Okay, they're over here. And then you go model line, reference plane, so draw, draw on work plane, and then for the reference plane, choose number five. Yeah, okay, so now we start off from here. Uh, just make sure you're at the similar height. Of course, you don't have to be exact. Nothing in this architecture is exact, but yeah, go like that. Okay, once we've got that line, you can just go copy, CO, and make sure that multiple is selected. You grab it by this point and then you copy it along this reference plane to the, the points of these lines. Okay, so once we have this, let's do the roof shape again. So starting from here, here we've got that kind of shape like this. Then we've got that steep one, kind of like that. Okay, it's looking similar. Then here we've got, let's do it something like this. And you might get some warnings, but don't worry. And then let's go all the way to the end and then connect it here. Okay, and again, now you go and you just delete the, the middle ones. So here as well, and here as well. And you can also get rid of these uh, lines on the ground that we created just to help us. Same thing here, perhaps delete all of these. Okay, there we go. So now let's go back into site plan. Yeah, okay, once you're in site plan, you just go here, uh, you select this whole thing, you go to copy, paste, align to same place, reference plane, change to six. Okay, that looks decent enough. Then go copy, paste, same place, change reference plane to seven, move it uh, a bit to the right. And again, let's do the same thing for this one here. So again, copy, paste, align to same place. 
and let's move it to 8 and now you have to move it a bit more and here because you don't know where it should end up uh, what I suggest you do you do the same thing uh, you just extend it using this line so you just go like that so kind of like that and now you know where should this go through and now when you go into 3d you get to that profile and you just uh, you just hit tab once and then you extend that line don't worry if it does this you just switch it to the other side now okay and now you just uh, according to that you kind of change the proportions of the rest of it maybe like this I don't know okay let's say this looks decent enough and then we can delete this line over here okay so once we have all of these profiles it's time to make our shapes so select all of them go create form wait for a second and there you go it's looking pretty wild we just need to trim the edges so just go to level one and uh, go here with a rectangle and just go from here to here now don't worry this rectangle doesn't have to look perfectly it's just used as a void same thing here just a simple rectangle and then you select it and you just adjust it okay something like that now if we go into 3d select this create form void form and as you can see now it's cutting it to get that iconic shape same thing on the other side you select it you go void form and again here we've got it cutting to get that iconic shape okay so once we've got this uh, mass you just go finish mass and now it's time to turn this into actual architecture geometry so for that you can go to massing and site you can uh, and now you can do the top of this as a roof but uh, these side ones uh, should be walls because if you go here with roof on the side one it's not going to work you can only get it here so just make sure you keep that in mind roofs don't go vertical and then you just go create roof okay cancel okay and if it doesn't work with a roof then I just I suggest you just skip to the wall and that will work every time and you just go like that adding walls to this shape now it's going to give you some trouble uh, with this unjoining of elements but don't worry you can you can get the final shape using this method and as you can see you just continue doing that come on yeah it's going to take a while because it's a very complex shape I mean we're doing some Zaha Hadid geometry so it's it cannot be simple on the computer or easy okay so there we go you, you get the point this is how you create shapes like this and this is Zaha Hadid's Riverside Museum modeled in Revit and if you want to download this project file make sure to check out my patreon first link in the description okay so that's pretty much it for this video thank you for watching please subscribe like and share this video and if you have any questions comments or suggestions for any future tutorials make sure to leave them in the comment section below thank you for watching and have a nice day